Okay, I have picked this fleece over really well. This is this is an all prime, but I'm telling you, more than half of it has been squirted away. So I'm going to have to go through this again. Again, this was a one, first year lamb, <laughs> and his fleece was over nine and a half pounds, ten pounds. So what I do is I stick it in this bag and what I will do is I will put it in the bag so that the prime area of the fleece is to the inside of the bag and the dirty area is sticking out because I want to be sure that that really dirty fleece gets most of the water and that the dirty water doesn't make the clean fleece dirty. Okay, here comes the lawnmower again. I'll show you when it's right now. And you can see I used a lot so now this water will get so hot I have to use like a wooden spoon or something. What I want to show you is because I didn't rinse it in the creek first and it's hot. Hot hot. How filthy this water gets immediately. Look at that. That's nasty. We gotta get this all out of there. Now, you're saying, wow, you're sure moving that fleece around a lot. Wool can always go hotter, but don't ever bring it down colder. Never put colder water on a hot fleece. That's what causes it to shrink. It reacts, the fibers, the cells shrink and felt. So I'll keep this in really hot water. And I only use soap once. I will do this load with a huge amount of, <laughs> probably a quarter cup of Dawn in a full bathtub. And I will move it around and try to get that grease to start breaking up. That's why Dawn is really good for this. But I'll only use some soap once. And I will go through filling this tub five times. And sometimes even the last rinse or the time before the last rinse, I'll add a conditioner, a little hair conditioner, because this is indeed hair. And I like my fleeces soft when I spin. So, this is washing the face. I'll go through this without the soap mix four times, no soap, but I'll go through this process at least five times. And I'll catch you next time. Now, this is my fleece. After I pulled it out, I put it in the bag in the dryer. You see this? You think, oh my God, you felted your fleece. In fact, you didn't. What happens is, with a fine micron fleece like this, it's very easy to fill, that is true. But what happens is, the vegetable matter doesn't all come out. The grease, a lot of it comes out. These yellow tips are actually, like for a dark sheep, their tips will be light, and on a white sheep, their tips will be yellow. But, you have to work this fleece. It's not felted. Here's the proof. Beautiful luscious, beautiful fleece. Now, VM, vegetable matter, still in there. We'll not put this through my carter. I will still keep picking this fleece and I will get all of that out and I'll tumble it and shake all of that out and I will end up with beautiful, soft, gorgeous fleece. So, when you wash a fine micron fleece and it comes out like this, especially if you use my laundry bag method, don't freak out. It's not felted. Oh, I wish I had more than one hand than my cell phone. But what you do is you pull it apart. Pull it, yank it apart, open it up, and try to do it while it's still damp. And then you'll end up with this beautiful mountain of fluffy loveliness. So don't freak out. Just a warning. It is not all as it seems. Now this is going to be some work. It's hard to pull apart. It's a chore, but it's worth it. Look at that gorgeous stuff.
beautiful. It's going to be awesome to spin. But I will. I'll get all this VM off it and the really bad sun tips. I'll, I'll just trim those off as I spin. So, just wanted to give you that warning. Don't freak out. It's not the end of the world. It's the beginning of something beautiful. Good morning from Mission Creek Farm. Um, this is to end up this video just to so, so you can see the entire process. Um, this is Pete's fleece, all washed up. Out of, it's in the bag still. I dried it, of course, and fluffed it out. And I have been carding. That's what it looks like finished. Sorry for the light. And then I am spinning some on my drop spindle. So this um, is some that I just grabbed out of the bag. And what I do is I use, oh, I'm so sorry, I, I don't have a camera holder, but I use a cheapo dog comb with metal teeth. There are plenty of really excellent uh, fiber tools out on the internet. Um, I carried a lot of them in my shop and I'll be opening up my shop again here in, in uh, Montana. My shop was in Virginia but moved back home to Montana. But in the meantime I just use this little comb and what I will do is I will comb out the ends, the curly part, the, the part that was on the outside of the sheep when he was sheared. That's the part that was close to his skin. And I'll open up those tips and I'll feed it, tip in to my drum carter, cranking the handle, combing it out. And I'll show you what it looks like on the drum carter and pulling it off, what it looks like when I pull it off. So this is what it looks like after it's been carded. I ran it through the carter three times, three times. And it ends up beautiful. And what I'll do is I'll roll it up in a roll leg or a ball or whatever you want to call it. Beautiful, see? That fleece was not felted and I got all the VM, vegetable matter, out of it. So now I can take it to my drop spindle or my spinning wheel, and I can spin yarn. Spinning is a whole nother thing, and I will teach you that if you want to come back and see that in the next series of videos. God bless. Mm -hmm.